Wow, it has been way too long since I've made a video. It's literally been over three weeks since I've made anything, which is the longest stretch I've ever gone without making a video since this channel began. Uh, lots of reasons behind it, which I will get into in the future. But an exciting day. I think today is the day that we finally begin the 100k gem challenge. So lots of things going on in real life right now. Today is literally the day that my baby is due to be born and my wife has not gone into labor yet. And so I'm pretty much playing a waiting game. Uh, so that's super exciting. Um, but just wanted to give you guys an update on what's been going on with me in game and in life a little bit. So let's get into it. Those of you who have followed the channel from the beginning know that i was the first player and only player as far as i know that was 100 percent free to play they got to level 80 296 billion 100 percent free to play no royal merchant no packs um, no gems bought absolutely nothing no paid workers nothing had every slot unlocked every hero unlocked everything completely done and got to level 80 free to play from there we went on and finished so many things we got to our 100 billion uh invest which was a huge thing that we wanted to do uh basically got an even number of invests personally so that we could get to all of our end game uh buildings that we wanted to in guild so many other things that we checked off the list and i was starting to get bored was rushing net worth uh was in the top 15 net worth for like six months kind of fell off a little bit uh, from that as we were focusing on other things and just real life got busy. And so from there, we transitioned and did Iron Man. We spent a, about six months playing an Iron Man account basically that had no access to market whatsoever. I asked for the ban and we played until we hit level 65, got eight of our shop expansions done, completed the whole outside ring, called it the donut. And um, just had this crazy time of never having access to market but getting really far in game unlocking a ton of stuff and having a great time along the way uh, equipping all of my own heroes with everything that I crafted myself obviously getting all of my own components uh, and and it was a really cool journey that we did and so as I got back on my main account uh, about three months ago now we've been working on a whole bunch of other things so let me show you kind of what that's looked like what we've done we've mastered every single tier 11 in the game so all of the items tier 11 are done uh, we caught up and spent 15,000 gems getting every single blueprint from the golden chest so that is all completed now as of uh, about five weeks ago now we got we got caught up on the remaining blueprints that we were missing from there and all those are mastered as well and so we caught up a ton we got to seven percent in our ascensions which when i got back to my account we were at zero so that was a huge thing as well and lots of these types of things that we really wanted to get done as well collection log was something that i really wanted to hit hard we've hit ten thousand, and every single item in collection score at this point is done up until epic so every single epic in the game is done. The only things I'm missing in collection log across the board, beginning to end, is legendaries. That's it. So that was a huge accomplishment as well. So now I'm looking forward in game and saying, okay, what do we want to do now? What do I want to accomplish? Obviously, there's still some things that I really want to do, like finishing the collection book completely but I think that's a little bit farther down the road. Something I've taken pride in from the very beginning is that we have never bought a gem pack. As you can see, these are all still gold. They change from gold when you've bought a gem pack or they change the amount of gems that you get back as well. So you can cross-reference this and see that on this account, I started playing in June of 2019. So it's been over two years. I've never bought a gem pack. We have everything unlocked in the game, so much completed without ever spending money on gems. So I do now have seven months of Royal Merchant. I do have all the paid workers, but that's it. I also have one pack that's been purchased. That's it. One pack. So looking forward now, my thought was, what could we do that would be the next crazy accomplishment? We did Iron Man. We did level 80. We did the free to play thing. We did all this stuff. And of course, as you guys know, I've made a lot of gem guides and that sort of thing, and, and people have really enjoyed that. And so I thought, why not, without ever spending an, a dollar on gems, try to get to 100,000 gems? And so five weeks ago, we spent every gem that we had getting all of the Lost City of Gold blueprints. And then, of course, we had to master all of those blueprints as well. And so something like the Opulent Wand, obviously, we needed all the sigils, we needed all the Opulent Jewels. And so we spent weeks mastering these crafting all of these ourselves and spending every gold and every gem that we had buying these and mastering them so that's all done now complete 
and um, we're caught up on that. And so there's there's one more thing that I really want to do, and that is get all of the blueprints in the last type of chest that I have not completed yet, which is the bleak chest, which is this one here. So I actually have none of these blueprints yet. So I'm going to have to spend a lot of gems opening these and trying to get the last six blueprints, but that is the last blueprints in the game free to play that is even possible. So that's what's next on the docket. But in order to get there, I thought, let's try to save 100,000 gems. So we just hit the 20,000 mark today. I've been messing around a lot with different methods. I've been sitting at max energy and trying to sell as quickly as possible as well. So I'm going to share with you guys right now some of the things that I've been trying, some of the things that I've been experimenting with a little bit, uh, share some thoughts on, on current market. So let me say this as well. One of uh, the things that I did over the summer was I did Titan Tips videos. Those were coming out pretty consistently, a few a week at least, uh, just sharing different tips in the game, how to improve that sort of thing. And so going forward, I want to start a new series in the game. Um, probably I kind of have a name picked out already, but I'm not going to announce it officially yet. Um, but it's going to be kind of like market guides, but also what's happening in game, what's changing, what am I noticing, how to take advantage of different things. So it's going to be kind of become a gem guide slash current podcast type thing. Uh, it should be a little bit longer of a video, but basically thinking maybe once a month or so, since life's going to be a little bit busier going forward, I'll come out with videos just sharing kind of what's been going on in game and some things that I've been noticing. So hopefully that'll be coming out in the next couple of weeks here as well, the first episode of that. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that going forward. Uh, but I'm just going to share a couple of thoughts and some things I've been working on. So um, I've been rushing net worth quite a bit. When I first um, finished this was about a month ago, maybe a little bit less. Um, when I finished mastering all of those blueprints, all those um, Lux or not Lux blueprints, opulent bl blueprints, I started rushing some net worth, experimenting with that. We started at around 380 billion. We're at 448 now. We were at 260th place on the leaderboards, 266th. Uh, this isn't accurate because it's technically Friday night right now, and so it's not repopulated, but we were around 230th, and we were about 250 billion off of 100th place, thinking, how do I get back to 100th place? And uh, now, as you can see, we're about 230. So we've caught up by like 20 billion, which is not great because uh, it would take forever to get there, but that's obviously a goal to get back in the top 100 net worth, but we'll talk about that later. We did experiment on stream recently and figured out that we could get just over a billion an hour rushing so these are two opulent one and opulent pistol are the ones that i've been doing um so that's actually been working out pretty good a billion an hour is pretty crazy um so if you haven't seen that on stream before come hang out sometime and it's a lot of fun to be doing things like that so basically what i've been doing to get gems right now is making as much gold as i can with max energy this is a little bit less than max because i have two chests up but i could be about a hundred more than that but basically what i've been doing is just making as much gold as possible uh, by selling in shop and then using that gold to buy components and then fusing so as you can see in my bookmarks these are the things that i've been kind of working on so i can buy a lot of uh the lower moonstones and craft them into greater moonstones and i can get greater moonstones for less than 500k on average which means that i'm saving 200k per greater moonstone rather than buying them um and then some of these tier sixes here i've been buying green tier sixes and then fusing them into blues which i can get green tier sixes consistently all the time for like 300k so to craft them into a blue is like 1.5 mil i guess plus moonstones but like less than two mil which saves me you know a few million every single time and then turning them into sigils and selling those for gems um, I've also been getting opulent jewels so as you can see these are only 40k right now so that's only 400k for this if I can make the moonstones for 500k a piece that's 2 million plus 400k 2.4 mil and these green tier nines you can get sometimes for like six or 700k so three mil for two opulent jewels which then you can sell for a decent amount of gems for two of them and so that's been something i've been messing with as well so lots of these things i've been finding really useful where i make a bunch of gold with max energy i i go to the market and buy or fuse uh, the components necessary for all of these things and then i'm selling those for gems and i'm doing this i can do it fairly quickly because i'm not using my crafting slots for crafting because i have max energy and i don't have any um resources out and then i can basically transfer a ton of gold to gems 
uh, at like 500k or even less sometimes depending on gold value and stuff i try to sell sigils for five gems each and eventually they do sell and then obviously i'm getting a better ratio each time i do one of these at 16 gems rather than 12 if you're selling for four each um so in general, that's kind of what I've been experimenting with to try to make a lot of gems uh, with a little amount of gold or, or just using my crafting slots, obviously, to make as much gold as possible. So um, that's something I've been messing with, but I want to go into detail a lot more in the future about things that I'm noticing in market, just um, trends and things that have changed and what updates have done to the market and all that sort of stuff. Um, but of course, we'll talk about that in the future. So... I think that the remaining 80,000 gems is probably going to take me like three months or so. I'm not sure. Even at like, let's say 700k per gem, which I think is average to do fairly quickly. I think I calculated it yesterday and it was about 60 billion gold that I would need at 700 k per gem to get an extra 80,000 and so in order for me to make 60 billion gold and transfer that into gems obviously that's going to take me a really long time and so I will try to experiment with different things see how I can make gold faster see how I can utilize market this is just extra random stuff from KC that I had that I crafted or whatever don't take any note of this this isn't important I've been messing around with a lot of other things in market but with KC right now as you can see I just hit the million mark it's day two and we're already at 7 million. So I'm probably not going to do any more KC and uh, I'll just, you know, be focusing on this. But of course, as we go forward, as I make more videos and stuff over the coming months, hopefully I'll find some better methods and be able to share that stuff with you going forward. So today, the day that baby is due is the day that this challenge officially starts. And without ever spending a dime in gems, we are going to try for the 100 thousand gems once that happens the plan is to open up bleak chests until we get all six blueprints so it's 500 gems per gem open for these guys and so we'll have 200 opens essentially so we should get it in a lot less than that uh judging by the odds and uh after that, maybe spend the remaining gems on finishing as many legendaries as we can in collection log or something like that, depending on if there's new updates in game or whatever. Who knows what that'll look like, but that's the plan for the 100,000 gems. So um, obviously, I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry it's been so long that uh, since I made a video, but life's just been a whirlwind lately and probably will be even more so in the coming uh, days and weeks. But anyway, um, man, thank you guys so much for being with me on this journey. It's been so much fun. A couple of years of playing this game and progressing and uh, hopefully doing things that nobody else has ever done before or probably ever will again. And I cannot wait to see the six-digit gem count uh, basically for free, other than Royal and, and Workers, of course. So anyway, guys, thank you for sticking with me. Love you all. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you have a really good week slash weekend and um i will talk to you all soon i'm hoping to stream uh sooner than later uh depending on when baby decides to come and what my schedule looks like but anyway um hopefully i'll talk to you all soon so thank you thank you talk to you all later much love take care